Food service these days is, is operating at such a high level that if all you're doing is providing great food and providing great service, you're really not differentiating yourself sufficiently. And then it just becomes a, a commodity battle. The genesis at Levy really came from clients. We had a few clients that said, we are hiring analytics teams, we are doing this, we are expecting our front office to make better business decisions, and we expect all of our service providers to make better business decisions too. So E15 filled a really important niche in the market. They would come to us and say, you did such a great job helping us price our concessions menu, can you help us in the retail store? One of the things that really gates our ability to provide new innovative analytics services is just the physical and logistical um, constraints on the venue. Being able to take some of these new technologies and knit them together in a more cohesive way, it's part of the expectation now when you go to an arena that there's, there is gonna be an app. There is gonna be the ability to connect with other people, to connect to even basics like Wi-Fi in a lot of venues is still a challenge. In sports games, you'll have no one on and then you've got 20,000 people on like that, right? And that's a hard problem to manage. And to build the infrastructure out for 40 games a year is a pretty big investment for a lot of these organizations. Another issue that caused some, some delays in sports was just a lot of the infrastructure issues. A lot of, you know, legacy point of sale systems, the uh, the, the nature of these venues really defies a lot of the existing technology. There's a few things that, that we try to do to make sure that from a food and beverage standpoint, our offering is as relevant as it can be. Historically, I don't know that our industry has done a good job of really understanding our market. One of the things we do that I think creates value for the fans is having a good understanding not just of what's happening in our venue, but also looking outside of the venue and making sure that we're staying relevant to the market in a way that we want to position ourselves. Probably one of the most important things that we do is to understand not just what people want to eat in the venue, but how they want to eat it. So things like the style of service and being able to understand the motivations for going to a game and how contextual those motivations are. When you go to a game, sometimes you might go for work and you're entertaining clients or you're with your boss and you're gonna do one set of things. If you go with your friends on a guy's night out, a girl's night out, then you're gonna do a whole different set of things. And if you go with your family and you've got kids with you or it's date night, then what you do is something different. The traditional models of segmentation completely break down. If you treat me the same every time I go, then you're not going to meet my expectations around what my experience wants to be. Being able to bring that contextual sense of who our clients are, I think is a huge value add because it allows us to interact with our clients the way they want to be interacted with in that event, in that context, in a way that historically has simply not been the case.